everyone and welcome back to a new edition of Telefine. I'm Diego, the host, and for today we have a really interesting program for you. In our first segment, we're going to talk about common mistakes that we make when we are speaking in English. In our second segment, we're going to talk about a Mexican culture, the Day of Dead. In our third segment, we're going to talk about the top four of best movies of 2018. In our sketch, we're going to have a representation of how students get distracted in class. So, let's start. Hi guys, my name is Adalis. And my name is Anita. And today we are going to tell you about common mistakes that we usually do when we talk. Okay, let's start. In the first place, we have that non-native speakers say childs instead of children. We say childs with S, but the correct way to call a group of kids is children. For example, I have three childs in my house. That's a mistake, but the correct way is I have three children in my house. The second mistake is when people say doesn't instead of don't when they want to refer to something in negative and in plural. For example, they doesn't want a barbecue in the garden. That's a mistake. But the correct way is they don't want a barbecue in the garden. Odalis? Okay, Anita. Sometimes we use a verb in past simple after the use of the auxiliary didn't. But the correct form is to use a verb in present simple or infinitive. For example, I didn't bought a cell phone, that's a mistake, but the correct way is I didn't buy a cell phone. Another common mistake that we usually commit when we are talking about a group of people in plural, we use persons instead of people. For example, there are many persons in my classroom, that's a big, big mistake. The correct way is there are many people in my classroom. Thank you. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. <laughs> Okay, with this word, round, you have to open your mouth. Round. Emily. Is that a cell phone? No. It looks like a cell phone, Emily. I am only using translator. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure you can check. Seriously? <laughs> I'm okay with the translator or a dictionary. But no Facebook. Are you using headphones? No, teacher, it's just my hair. No, but they look like headphones. No, teacher. Yeah, they're headphones. Give me your headphones. No. Give me your headphones! Okay, here you have. Okay, as a... What is that? Hello? What is this? Nothing interesting. What is it? Nothing, teacher. No! Oh, it's an invitation. Oh, no. No, teacher. Give back, it's really important. How important is it? You know why. Because it's a party. It's the last invitation, please. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to give this back. But I don't want to see it again. Yes? Okay. Now. Taking photos of me 
to make me into a WhatsApp sticker? No, teacher. We are just taking a selfie. Really? Yes, if you want, you get to. This is no time to take a selfie. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so you're talking about the word round and listen. You have to do your activities in the class. Yes? No. no. But it's time to break. No. Should have stayed in camp. Hi, it's me again. Now we're gonna talk about a Mexican culture, the Day of the Dead. So let's begin. about a Mexican custom, the Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican celebration that honors ancestors on November 2nd. This celebration coincides with a Catholic celebration, the Day of the Faithful Deceit. Also, one see primarily a Mexican festivity. The origins of the Day of the Dead in Mexico can be traced on the time of indigenous in Mesoamerica such as Aztecs and Mayas. They ritual celebrate the ancestors. Today, there are no sacrifices. Now, Mexican families gather to remember and commemorate family members who have died. And for that, they make little offerings. That offerings include possessions and objects that the deceased like most. Also, it has scrolls made of chocolate and sugar candles and bright colors to catch the attention of everybody who is there. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daniela. And my name is Sofia. We are going to talk about the top four of the best movies at 2018. Avengers Endgame. This looks like the end for several of the main Avengers, although if something Marvel has shown us is that the arrival of them does not necessarily mean that there would be no new beginning. There are still many heroes to meet. Fast and Furious Hot and Show. We highly anticipate the participation of celebrities such as Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham who face a new storyline of action and adrenaline. It Chapter 2 This episode not only complements It Chapter 1, but it also makes its original premise clearly and more mature, thus giving us complete and more satisfaction closer to its history. Maleficent Owner of Evil Maleficent is a film based on a fantasy story about the love of Maleficent in Aurora. They both form an alliance and face a new problems in their fight to protect the Moors and its magical creatures. We highly recommend that you see these fields. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, my name is Sofia. That is for our episode. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Until next time, be totally fine.